So I'm here with uh, Lori Chamberlain, and Lori's uh, a student of yoga and a teacher as well, and she's recently completed the Power of Yoga program certification, and I'm here to ask her about that experience. Uh, before I uh, open the questions to Lori, I'll just give you a little bit of information about the Power of Yoga program. We have five modules, they're five days in length, and a uh, fairly comprehensive, uh, fair amount of depth in content and uh, assignments after each of these modules and a final exam, which Lori has uh, successfully completed. Um, so if you're interested in the Power of Yoga program, uh, you can check out our website, powerofyogaprogram.com. So Lori, you've completed this course. Uh, how was it for you? It was really challenging um, and really enlightening for me personally and professionally. Great. Um, could you perhaps give our listeners and viewers a, a bit of a highlight of uh, some of the five modules and what stood out for you in terms of the course content? There was really practical stuff like how do you sequence a class, um, which I didn't feel 100% confident about even after having gone through the 200 hour training. That was really great. Um, and then it was really nicely mixed with personal practice and um, personal exploration, which I found really, uh, that's the enlightening part for me. Right. So personal practice is one of the things that I really highlight as a yoga teacher. And from my experience, that's been what has been really transformative, um, having that daily uh, connection with uh, my practice. And that can mean a whole range of things. Can you talk a little bit about your personal practice and how it's developed through, especially as a result of this training? Yeah, I mean, before I sort of sporadically would do my personal practice, but it would be days would go by when I wouldn't do it. And I think that the Power of Yoga program made me uh, realize that you really do have to be disciplined and committed and have a practice that you do every day. And for me, it really has been a lifesaver. Um, the last two years have been extremely challenging um, just with life circumstances. and. Uh, somehow I've had the confidence to know I could get through it, and that is completely because of my personal practice. Oh, that's great. And this is, it's an experiential thing, as is yoga, um, and we really encourage students of yoga to begin a personal practice, and sometimes mm -hmm. it's a teacher that needs to help to fine-tune what that practice might look like. Exactly. So can you talk a little bit about how uh, doing this comprehensive training has changed your teaching? I think that it's given me a, more confidence to try new things. I uh, tended to stick with the same sort of practices, the same sort of sequencing, um, and I, uh, the Power of Yoga program gave me a lot more ideas, a lot more tools, and just a lot more confidence in myself as a teacher. Right. And I know from uh, reviewing some of your assignments and, and uh, your tests, you are a fairly um, uh, well-read st uh, student of yoga. So uh, part of the challenge is always how do you bring the right tools mm -hmm. to the, the individual the student and, and to the classroom itself. Um, so I, I can see over the, the months of, of this journey that you've really exactly been able to fine-tune that and that's, mm -hmm. that's such a, a gift because yoga, if we want it to be more than a series of exercises, uh, we need to have teachers with the depth that can help students to really get in that uh, place of transformation. Uh, tell us a bit about the the classwork that you did with the Power of Yoga program and these modules. I think what was nice about this program compared to some of the others I've done is that uh, there was a small amount of people. It was a really um, intimate group of um, three or four of us at one time and that made a big difference because we really got to know each other and the group dynamics were consistent all the way through. Um, whereas if I've, I've experienced other classes where you're in a group of 60 people and sometimes the whole week goes by and you still don't know the people that you're spending so much time with. So uh, we created this program uh, largely based on the training that, that I've done and uh, uh, my cohort Roxanne Jolly has done with uh, Rod Stryker, our teacher at uh, Para Yoga, and we kind of captured as much as we could the salient points of, of his master training, and as well as some of the points that I've captured from uh, trainings I've done at the Himalayan Institute. Um, how does that resonate with you, this idea of plugging into a lineage of yoga? 
For me, that was probably uh, the selling point because I can't get out to do a lot of these trainings. Um, so for me, it was a real bonus to be able to get some of these, the trainings of these master teachers through you. And I find that you did a really good job of taking their message to us um, very precisely. Great. And if we are um, looking at the yoga training models, uh, how does this uh, approach of a five-day comprehensive module uh, and then you know, these are scheduled throughout the year, for example. How does that work for your, you as a busy professional? How did that work for you? It worked really well, um, both because I couldn't imagine taking 10 or 20 days off work all at once. Um, I just started my own yoga-based business um, based on this training. Um, so that worked really well. And plus, the time in between the modules gave me a chance to assimilate some of that information and to experience it personally before I took it out to my students. Great. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Lori, for uh, taking the time to share with us your experience in the Power of Yoga program. And I know that you'll continue to be a very successful teacher, and I know that the teachings will continue to en enrich and, and um, bring more depth and, and uh, purpose to your experience here. So congratulations. Thank you. <laughs>